Welcome back, John Fedger here with MobileHomeInvesting.net and in this video I want to bring you clarity on where you can expect to find mobile homes both in mobile home neighborhoods and in mobile home parks. Mobile home parks, you rent the land, mobile home neighborhoods, you're going to purchase the mobile homes, you're also going to purchase the land that they sit on and then you can go ahead and rent the home own the land or sell the home and land package together. Now in your city, cities vary in size and shape uh, and population and distance and again size. So your city is going to look much different than this, but in general every city has a downtown. In the downtown within that city, typically the highest and best use of that land is not a mobile home park. So if there were any mobile home parks in your downtown center, uh, that's, they're typically not there anymore. They're, that property is reserved for commercial space, condos, um, downtown area, um, sorts of activities, but typically not mobile home parks. We get outside of downtown and we have the outside of downtown area. Now in that area, as well as downtown, if there are any mobile home parks there, they're going to be the most expensive for that area, typically. Now downtown, you may have one or two depending on your city. I don't want to say that there won't be any there. But outside of downtown, you will for sure have some mobile home parks. Now the demand to get into those parks is going to be high. There's going to be a a lot of buyers, or there's going to be some buyers who have cash who will pay cash for these mobile homes inside these mobile home parks in the outside of downtown area. Now because of the proximity to how close it is to downtown, lot rent is go, go, going to go up, the prices of homes are going to go up, the amount of cash buyers is going to go up. Now cash buyers are our competition to some extent. So if there's a lot of cash buyers, they're going to be bidding homes up and they're going to be paying two or three times the amount for the same mobile home here as you will when you get outside of the city. So keep in mind what you're buying and where you're buying it. So lot rent's going to be a little bit higher here. There will be some parks and the demand will be high. So if you can get into these parks and purchase a home that still fits our criteria, again, you want to make sure you get your money back within a year at most. Make sure you're buying a two, three bedroom it's in good condition, family park, pet friendly, average or below average lot rent. Uh, then we move out to um, the suburbs. So after you get outside of downtown, and again these areas are sort of gray areas, they're not exactly a line in the sand that, that you're going to see. But you want to get into the suburb areas, and I can tell you from my experience in the investors that uh, I'm working with around the country, the suburbs and outside of the city limits, that's where we find our bread and butter parks, our bread and butter neighborhoods, bread and butter mobile homes on land that are going to create value, that we're able to create value with, both the homes, the sellers, and then we can turn that around and create a value with our buyers as well. So in the suburbs and in the outside of the city limits, that zone, if you will, those you're going to have, uh, because of the, the distance from downtown, lot rent is going to go down, the amount of homes for sale is going to go up, the time on the market that sellers are selling their mobile homes are going to go up as well because the demand has gone down uh, and then lot rent like I said has gone down the inventory typically goes up and because land is cheaper taxes are cheaper out here you have many many more mobile home parks many many more mobile homes attached to private land so these two areas right here are definitely good uh, the outside downtown area is still okay and then when you get outside uh, the uh, what I call outside the city limits area when you get sort of in the sticks I like to call this area in the sticks, it's country. You're going to have pastures of, uh, of farmland, acreages of just trees and farmland, and every, well, many homes, mobile homes, regular homes, they're going to have some land attached to them. Now, there could be woods, there could be forests, but the people that live outside this area, and please keep in mind, this can be 5 miles away from downtown, 20, 30, 40 miles away from downtown, depending on how large your city actually is. But the folks that live out here, they are going to value their freedom, they're going to value the sanctuary of being out here, and the, um, the, the fact that they're not downtown. Realize that lot rent is going to shoot down, the demand of cash buyers is going to shoot down, uh, homes on the market typically typically is going to go up. Uh, and that's what you're going to see sort of in the sticks. So the uh, suburbs outside the city limits is good. In the sticks, that's a good area too. And to some extent, the uh, outside downtown area 
is a good area as well. Downtown, you're not going to find much volume. Let's kind of now shift our gears and talk about, you say, John, well, I'm living on the coast. I'm living on a coastal city. What can I see? Well, we still have that same sort of priority level from where people, obviously, where, where people with money, people that want to see the good views of the ocean, they want to be downtown, they are going to live on the coast. And that coastal area, lot rents are going to be super, super high. People are going to pay extraordinary amounts for the same mobile home, 2, 5, 10, 20 times the cost of this mobile home. It's the same one as buying it inland. But because people have cash and they want to be by the coast, lot rents up. The cash uh, buyers are, are higher here. The prices of homes are higher here. There's a shorter period of time on the market for these homes. Uh, so we typically do not invest here. Holding cost is going to be high. So I would say do not invest by the coast. Now outside the coast, you can get your lot rental go down. Uh, you're still typically not going to find too many parks or neighborhoods that, that we want to work with. Now you can do anything that you want to do, but following uh, the cost of or the, the path of least resistance, the lowest cost, lowest holding cost, easiest to resell. I would not suggest going outside the coast, uh, which I can sort of consider downtown, and then the coast as well. That's going to be super super high in most areas when we're talking about lot rent, taxes, properties, etc. When you get into the suburbs, and again, this can be 5, 10, 20 miles away from the coast, probably not too much more than that. You're going to get into the suburbs. Again, this is an area where we do want to be. Lot rent goes down. The amount of properties on the market goes up. The holding time on the market, the people are trying to sell their mobile homes, that goes up. The days on the market, lot rent goes down. Prices go down. Uh, people, the supply goes up. Demand goes down. All right, make sure I got that right. Uh, outside the city limits, again, that's going to be a very good area. And then once you get inland, uh, and again, you, you can have these sort of hubs of different cities scattered around, depending on how far you go. And each of these little cities can be good pockets of mobile homes, both on land and in parks. The same with this model as well. You can have these other neighboring cities nearby and they can be suburbs or hubs for other mobile home communities. So you're really going to have a lot more understanding when you get out, you understand your market, not only in your county, but the surrounding counties. It's important to know what everything is for sale, know who's in this business, know what you're competing against, and know how to go ahead and profit and create value with these homes. But first things first, this is where you can find sort of the, the, the uh, clusters of mobile homes and mobile home parks and what... Uh, what supply you're, you're going to find them. So I hope that this made sense. If, you, if it did and you liked the video, please like it up. Uh, please share it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything to bring you more clarity, don't hesitate to comment below this video and ask your questions. That's the only way that you're going to uh, progress in this business. I'm here to help. Again, my name is John Fedro. Talk to you soon.